This feels like a spicy reading. It's like spice and everything nice, everything mixed together. Somebody feels that you are the jackpot. You are the fortune. Somebody sees you as the will of fortune. That's what keeps going on in my head. The will of fortune is like destiny. It's fate. It's seizing your opportunity. It's getting what's yours. It's letting like nothing stop in your way of destiny. So you're seen as a full package to an individual. They're having spicy thoughts of you. But, it, but it's because more than just your body. Let's let's do this. Hmm. I like the energy. It's exciting. It's fresh. It's heart racing. But it also feels stable. Not just a drop. It's somebody that knows how to glide. Somebody that knows how to ride and vibe with you. They're serious, but a little sweet. Y'all both have that type of humor where you can play, make fun with each other and know there's so much respect and flirtation that it goes without being said that there's pure intentions, that you're a safe space to be all of you, not just one part of you. People and... I mean, people, but like to specify on this reading, one person deeply wants to wine and dine you. They know you're a legend of your time, of what you do. You won't be forgotten. You're already not forgotten. When you've left the workplace, when you've left the relationship, you leave imprints in people's minds so much more than you've ever realized. Let's see what the cards got. Wow. Well, with this connection, It feels that you have been able to master keeping control of yourself and not letting the excitement, the passion, or the lust take over your decision making. You are also completely in charge of your fear and you do not allow how other people treated you to stop you from receiving love from high vibrational sources now these top cards these top four cards are how or what qualities this person is attra what attracted this person to you what qualities you do have, but also they admire. The next two cards are about the form of intimidations or anxieties they could have. Not necessarily around you, but of the dynamic or situation. These last two cards are a sense of self-insecurity. Something that they have been dealing from within and we are together giving them the power to encourage and send that light of get out of your head. Do not be insecure. I am a person that sees it all. I'm the last one to judge. I want your truth and that involves what you feel afraid to tell me. Overall, this whole conversation, this person, this is raw creative energy, this person has been pivotal in helping you become a master manifester. 
That's what real connections do. So, what are they attracted to about you? You have this sense of prosperity, okay? Wherever your mind and intention goes, it's going to be successful. It's going to thrive. You lead with this sensitive nature, but at the same time, you make it very obvious that you will meet others halfway and it takes time of showing, of provence for you to go above and beyond. And remember, these are aspects of love. These are aspects of intimate relationships. It's not about going above and beyond for yourself. It's not about being deeply committed into a project or etc. This is a love reading. So when it comes to love, you're not allowing yourself to go above and beyond. You take things according, but you still give this sensitive nature and show, hey, that part of me is there that unconditional giving they can feel and see you've been hurt but you balance your masculine and feminine energy your masculine is your willpower your go-getter attitude your self-composure and your feminine is your nurture your compassion your sympathy it is embedded within all of us a masculine in touch with his feminine nature is a healed and safe masculine. A feminine in touch with her masculine nature is a strong, independent warrior. These dynamics, you are the one who must be surrounded by people that see that in themselves. At least when it comes to love. You are a guide. You are a support. You help. You really do help a lot of people. But we're again. We're only talking about your love life here. The person that you're going to put your head down next to. That you're going to be intimate with. Etc. They have to be balanced. But you don't expect. These unrealistic expectations. They love that you pour into others' cups, but you deeply pour into your own. You make them feel balanced. They understand that you grasp the whole embodiment of with great power comes great responsibility. That you have been presented either positions of authority or of influence, etc. And you utilize it for the greater good. A humongous amount of what this person adores about you is this sense of balance. So many of these cards have all been about a sense of a form of harmony, moderation, meeting halfway, and truth. You're honest. You speak what's on your mind. You, you The one thing, one of the only things we truly have in this world is our word and your word is solid there are no doubts when you state something this person loves that you see equality as well you're very again more than just the balance of the masculine and feminine it must be like you must be a very open-minded loving individual for people for who they are you are a person of equality you are a person of understanding individuality and complete self-expression must be allowed it is not something that needs to be tolerated because when individuals try to go within self and stop pointing outwards that is when tolerance becomes acceptance. A person won't accept somebody else if they don't accept themselves. And you help people accept themselves and make a trickling effect from there. Now, that form of intimidation or anxiety that they could feel from your dynamic is this. You are an extremely 
spiritual individual. Your intuition's on par. You have spiritual abilities that continue and continue to advance. You've always had spiritual abilities. For some of you here, you didn't realize it till you were either teenagers, young adult, maybe even a little bit older. This person is not, this is a little bit of where the intimidation factor comes in and go with me here. They don't have anything that they want to hide from you, but they also, they know that you can, you can read more than the room. You will internally always know when they're keeping something from you or holding back something, even if it's not like a secret, like it's literally just an insecurity, a worry, um, wanting to ask for clarification but not wanting to be that pestering partner you can feel when they have anxiety you can feel when they're happy and that is a bit intimidating but with that being said they also know at the end of the day you are a light worker so any pool Anything that would try to disturb that peace, that intuition, being by your side is even a deeper shield from those types of forces. They know they can't convince you of things either. And it's not that they're a person that wants to manipulate or anything, but basically, long story short, they can't really hide something from you with the abilities you have. Another thing that's more of the anxiety or I'd say it would flow more on anxiety than intimidation is, you see, you have work-life balance. You have a busy schedule, but you know how to moderate your professional and personal life. They wonder if there is a way for you to make time for them. Will this person be able to add another thing to their list? Another energy to their life? And your answer is yes, with time. With you two showing each other that this surpasses the passion and excitement and butterfly phase. So they're extremely attracted and at the same time, sort of intimidated about these two factors of you. The self-insecurity that they are overcoming and we are helping, encouraged by sending them this positive affirmations and vibrations. They can feel like they're a form of a procrastinator. This individual will have energy spurts of getting things done and etc and then feel depleted and goes into almost a state of numbness and shock and just need to be still. I am not a doctor and I will never diagnose anybody, but I am an energy healer and the energy, this person I'm connecting to you, the way they're bouncing around and etc. feels like ADHD. So again, I'm not diagnosing and this energy I'm feeling could be completely still within them without ADHD. But for a lot of you here, I was like, you need to tell them this. This individual, they see how hard you work. And they're reminding themselves as we speak, there's no, it's not about a competition and everybody's different and everybody's meant to do different things here and everybody has different responsibilities. They have to release imposter syndrome thinking they don't do enough. So with the amount of work and etc. and moving parts you have, being connected to you, they must understand that them sitting down when you're going is not a problem. You are in control of your abundance, your work life, etc. And they're in control of their abundance, their work life. What matters is that you two have mutual 
respect, balance, give and take when it comes to emotions, responsibilities. But if they are an individual that is more of a homebody and you are an individual that's more of a going out or etc., you too can work with that. It's about what? Trust and moderation. The last thing that the insecurity will be working through is a deep sense of surrounding parties, okay? I'm not saying that there's all these individuals wanting to get in the way of you and their dynamic and that there's magic and etc. trying to to take apart you in a connection. I want you to understand how rarely is actually a hex, a curse, etc. ever put on you. Do not get me wrong. I do understand that those things are possible. But here's the thing, my friends. Most people that would ever even... Most, most people who do that stuff don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know what they're getting themselves involved to. And all they end up doing is sending energy their way that they will then for have to figure out how to deal with. Most people who even practice light work and etc. know the repercussions and fucked up mentality it takes to be somebody who tries to perform a hex, a curse, etc. And if you are a highly, highly elevated person, you trust your guides, and you don't give power to any of those individuals, they cannot affect you. It is like rain, you hearing and like feeling kind of a vibration of rain hitting your house through a storm. Hey, if you left that door open during the storm, some stuff's going to get in. But you trust yourself. You're safe. You lock the doors. You don't allow those curtains, etc. to get in. Those teeny spots, you know what I'm trying to say. You must remember that. So when I state that there's surrounding parties, what I mean is there could be confrontation. There could be individuals that are jealous they could have an ex-partner they could everybody's in different dynamics they could still have a partner again everybody's in different dynamics these are collective takes or resonates their family can maybe not agree with your dynamic and also just a sense of when other people are jealous of two happy people together and they want what they have. People have two choices how to react to that ego emotion. Either feel happy that you see a couple having what you know you one day will. Being happy for them. Or you can choose to be jealous. So because that person has with something that you desire to have you're going to be jealous you're going to try to make that person feel and not you I'm, I'm literally talking about a person in that mindset remember that it does it, and it's, it's mind-boggling for me to even be in the mindset of that person who can be be so jealous over somebody having something they want at that moment that they would it wish ill will or for the two not to be together to make themselves I don't even know how that makes somebody feel good you and they will remember what we just stated that that type of person who tries to get in the way of you and your happiness or state their two cents where it's not even asked is not a person you should care about opinion to begin with. Their insecurity is understanding you, if there is any people on your end, 
that this will happen with your friends, your family, that you have the ability to follow your own internal compass and feed out what is not serving. And there is a difference between somebody like a friend or an older sibling or any sibling, etc. Being protective over you if you've had a hurt heart and they're like, you know what, I'm not going to, you know, your, your exes, I always accepted them so easily. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to be a dick to them or whatever, but it's, I need to see. I need to see. And they prove that they got your back and they're not going anywhere just because there's a roller coaster bump. And once they've done that, I'll accept them. There's a difference between that and a person involved with a friendship, a family member belittling your partner. Those are the key factors that are going to continue to build your understandings of this person and, and forward movements. So, what's the last little itty bitty we got? For you this definitely looks like one two three four separate energies currents very soon and intuition on both okay sentient tension manifest well you've manifested a conversation moment that would feel tense but is actually going to completely break away from solitude you and this individual what i mean is you'll always go in and out of your solitude your moments your hermit moments if you will but you you are deeply receiving more than words of affirmation there is a moment coming up soon where the sound of your voice, the depth of your words, and the look of your physical appearance. Not the way you're dressing, not if you're wearing makeup, not if your hair is cool, whatever. The look of your eyes, the way they're talking, the mouth, your expressions, if you're closing and going out are all going to be a front face front face value I see it is imperative during this conversation to show your intentions in front face the reason I'm calculating more is like when I say front face to me, that normally would mean like this is just like an outside thing. It's not an internal front face and centered. But the way I'm seeing is spirit stating with this conversation, they want you to deeply honor your feminine strength, your nurture, your compassion, your sympathy, no matter how you identify. To voice your healthy boundaries, but really understand you manifested this dynamic and that you are at this moment ready to be moving forward from solitude with each other. As we speak, you are sending them both outer strength and inner strength, and you are receiving outer and inner strength. This person, no matter if they would be in your life or not, wishes you the best. This person loves you unconditionally, even if you've never said the word love to each other. This person absolutely sees more than new opportunities and would like to build a new future together. A big thing to remember is to not let priorities slip away for each other. For some of you here, there could be a physical distance. And here we always talk about the high vibrations. We always talk about 
the beautiful aspects, but we also talk about those roller coaster bumps to be prepared and ready and not be scared. There will be times I see you two having to be separate from each other, but not separated and not in solitude. Your dynamic is going to take some people going on planes, some people driving dis physical distances and being ready for that type of commitment of a long, in a sense, a long term relationship or a long, I meant to say, well, there you go. You guys are going to be this dynamic as a long term relationship, but a long distance relationship. Even if you still see each other and it's only just a couple hours apart or etc. It is to the point where it would be considered a long distance relationship. Understand that this does fill your cup. And this person at this moment feels like they're at their phone waiting for a message from you. That's what I got for y'all today. We're going to promote two things today. Number one, a thing that I haven't promoted in a while and I've just started really thinking about it. And I was like, I got to promote this more. I am an affiliate with G Fuel. G Fuel is an energy drink that is meant for gamers, inf uh, for gamers, influencers, anybody who works uh, in like physical fitness. It's, it's an all around great supplement to use instead of drinking high calorie drinks that give you crashes etc g fuel i have a discount code that you can utilize at gfuel.com that discount code is matthew ramos one they have plenty of amazing flavors and they're constantly coming out with new flavors if you use that code, you will be supporting me directly. G Fuel is something I have been drinking for years, even before I was a professional tarot reader. This, this is game changing stuff. And lastly, but not leastly, we're going to promote the Twitch channel. Over on Twitch, every single live stream, I give away a free tarot reading. That is is every single stream. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow me on Twitch, be watching the active live stream, and comment the key word of that chat. On my screen, I put the key word on the top right-hand corner. Over there, you would go ahead and see the key word and simply type it into the chat and it would enter you into the draw. Before we end the stream, right at the end of the stream, we go ahead and see who wins. Again, that's every single stream. And my schedule is three times a week minimum. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I log on in between the time of 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. Just depends on what I have going on that day. And then throughout the rest of the week at nighttime, when I have random moments, I go on stream randomly. If you go ahead and follow me on Twitch, or friend request me on, or if you, yeah, let's do that. But if you go ahead and follow me also on Instagram or give me a request on Facebook, my stories, I always post when I'm going live. I also, on YouTube, I put in the community tab when I'm going on live. If you interested in joining, you're more than welcome. Over there, we chill, we vibe. We answer questions we get to know each other and it's a it's a way of like not only our spiritual 5D selves interacting but our human our 3D selves that is twitch at uncle bronze official and that is what i got for y'all today i'll see you when i see you let's get it Thank you.